toilet paper, liquid latex, and a cosmetic sponge. You want to take a piece of toilet paper and measure it to your head so it won't be too big or too small. You're going to need four pieces of toilet tissue separated into two which makes eight pieces each. And you're going to um, place down some liquid latex on your head and then place the layer of the, of the toilet paper and then you're going to alternate from side to side until you finish using the rest of the toilet paper or toilet tissue, whatever you want to call it. Make sure that the last layer is liquid latex, that's a must. And then you're going to take some primer and I'm using the NYX Studio Perfect Photo 11 Primer. And I'm going to prime my face and then just do my regular foundation routine. And the foundation that I'm going to use today is 355 Coconut and a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And you want to apply this over top of the tissue and make sure you set it with a powder before you go in and doing the next step. This is a must. I forgot to do this so you will see in the later on in the video that I did that. I'm going to use the NYX eyebrow gel in the color black and I'm going to make I'm going to spoolie out my eyebrows first and then I'm going to make them a little bit straight like less of an arch to make give you that mean evil look and then I'm going to take these demon horns and measure that out on my head and place it where I want to be and then I'm going to cut off that la lacing around it and then I'm going to take some scissors poke a hole into that and then I'm just going to look to get make it big enough for my finger to fit in and then I'm just going to stretch it out until it's big enough for the horns to fit inside of Now you're going to take some spirit gum adhesive and you're going to place that on your skin and onto the horn. This is basically an, an, a skin adhesive. It's like safe enough. To, it's like a glue for your skin. It's safe. And you're going to hold it there for about 20 seconds because the stuff takes a while to dry but not too long. Now I'm just going to highlight and contour and carve out my brows using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And make sure the brows are straight as I said once before like less of an arch to give you that mean looking look I mean mean evil look now I'm just going to blend that out we don't want no horseshoes but we want no harsh lines <laughs> And I went in and placed some contacts in before I did my highlight and contour. I should have been placed these in before I started anything, but I wasn't thinking. Now I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base in the color skin tone. I'm going to place that onto my eyelids and then I'm going to set it with the translucent powder. Specific, specifically the Laura Mercier powder. I cannot talk today. Then I'm going to dust off all the excess powder and then I'm going to set my highlight with the same thing and I'm actually going to bake it this time to give me that pale look. I usually don't bake but I'm going to do that today. Then I'm going to go in with the, then I'm going to go in with the more 350 palette, 350 W palette and I'm going to use the orange color and just basically it all over the place. Then I'm going to take it to Brazil palette and then I'm going to use the red and then that's going to be my second transition color and I'm just going to make that a little messy. Just put it all over the place in the crease area 
and then I'm going to use go back to the more 350 palette and I want to take the two brown colors and mix those together and apply that in my crease to give it like a, as a blending color for the um not a blend in another transition color for my black that's coming next and then I'm going to use the elf cream eyeliner and I'm going to place that onto my lids and then I'm going to set that with some black powder eyeshadow not powder <clears throat> I suck at these Now I'm going to take a blending brush with a little bit of the brown back in there and I'm going to blend that out. Now I'm going to dust away the excess powder that's on my face where I baked that. Then I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow and I'm going to use that as my contour shade. To give me that evil chiseled hot look, like hollow on my cheeks, you know. And then I'm going to contour my nose with the same one. Then I'm going to go back in with that same red and place that under my eyelids. I mean, on my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to contour some more with the red to like blend out that contour then I'm going to take a black gel eyeliner and pencil and apply it to my waterline so now I'm going to take the NYX liquid eyeliner in matte and I'm going to make a wing eyeliner I'm going to do an outer wing and an inner wing now I'm going to take the better than sex mascara by Too Faced and apply it to my top and bottom lashes before I apply the falsie soft touch lashes and the number 152 I'm going to apply those off camera and then I'm going to take this makeup palette the Halloween makeup palette I got from the Halloween store and I'm going to take that red and apply that around the area to give it like an affected look not infected like a I don't know what it would be but then I'm going to go in and take the purple just to make the wound look more bruised and like irritated is the word I was looking for for the with the ring. But yeah, this one's going to look bruised and like, I don't know, just bruised. Then I'm going to take the black and apply that, mainly focusing it like in the inside of the area to give it that, uh, that depth to look like it's coming, I don't know, to give it a depth and like a shadow to make it like it's coming out of the skin. Then I'm going to take the MAC Ruby Roo lipstick and I'm going to apply that to my lips all over. And then I'm going to go in with the black lip pencil and I'm going to line my lips with it and then I'm going to also shade the corners of my lips to give me that like ombre look kind of. And you can do this any way that you like. You don't have to, you can do less than what I did or you can do more. I just didn't like that much popping over there on my lip, so yeah. Then I'm going to take the same liquid eyeliner and I'm going to put that over my, I don't know, I just did some swirls under my eyes, zigzag lines to give me that like, thunderous bolt look. Then I'm going to go in with these 
things that I bought from Spirit Halloween store. And I'm going to follow the instructions and apply that on there. And then taking some fake blood. I'm just going to place that all around the horns to make it look like it's a fresh wound. About to just come out of my skin. And be careful because this drips. I actually dripped some in my eye. And if you want to give it that like look to make it go messily, just apply all of it a lot in like one spot and then it'll drip down. To give it that like random drip look. And of course shaking your head makes it work too. And then I'm also going to apply some around my mouth. Don't know why I did this, but it looked cool, so I did it. And you just want to do the same thing, apply a lot in one spot and then just shake your head and just go randomly and drip randomly. And be careful because this will go into your mouth and obviously it's not toxic, but still. And that's the finished look. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.